Imagine. Imagine an overcrowded immigrant community in Dallas, Texas. The Christ Foundry neighborhood has a population of more than 37,000 people living in two square miles. That's five times the population density of the rest of Dallas. Imagine high crime rates and staggering dropout statistics. Our neighborhood crime rate is 20% higher than that of the state average. One out of three students will drop out of high school. Imagine teen pregnancy. Imagine gangs and drugs, domestic violence and abusive labor practices. Our teen pregnancy rate is double the national average. For many teens and adults in our community, the future seems bleak. Imagine a community like that. There are a lot of negative influences upon the, the youth in this community. They hear gunshots. They all can tell you where you can buy drugs. They all know kids that are on drugs, kids that are in gangs. Now, imagine that community with hope. The adults and children that live in Christ Foundry's community are forming a new culture. And Christ's Foundry is helping to shape that new culture into one of faith and hope. We're seeking to wrap a web of righteousness around these kids. Our soccer program, both reaching out to the young men and young women, giving them a, a healthy place to gather. Our Cub Scouts have started meeting. They're learning the Scout Pledge and they're learning the Scout Values. They come to church on Sunday wearing their Scout uniform. The community knows that Wednesday night is Youth Club and Children's Choir at Christ Foundry. We seek to surround our youth with positive role models, positive peer pressure, all in a fun environment that will make the youth of our community want to be there. Um, all the kids here, they're all nice to each other. We all get along with each other no matter what. When we're singing, I felt as if God's Spirit were in me. Like He told me, He was telling me to sing for Him. We started having a workers association for persons who did yard work, who did uh, housekeeping. We connected them with Methodists who had yards that needed mowing and homes that needed cleaning, and we began providing work for persons. When we don't have this opportunity, we don't have a job. La Fundación de Cristo es como una segunda casa para todas las personas, no importa de dónde sean, cómo sean, su manera de ser, pensar en la Fundación de Cristo son muy bienvenidos. Subimos de la Fundación de Cristo por una familia vecina. Sentimos la necesidad de asistir y tal vez hacer unos cambios en nuestras vidas. Nuestra vida antes de la Fundación de Cristo era espiritualmente vacía, por decir algo. Este, no asistíamos a una iglesia con regularidad. La diferencia ahora es que pues conocemos más de Dios, nos hemos acercado. En lo personal es algo maravilloso. God has done mighty acts through Christ Foundry in the past. The congregation of Christ Foundry has a vision that God can do greater things in the future. I honestly believe that it's the spiritual energy that is coming from Christ Foundry that could in turn re-energize the entire North Texas Conference of the Methodist Church. The leadership is in place and it has been since Owen Ross was appointed there. He's so gifted in so many ways, but one of the ultimate ones I believe is his love for people. It comes from a, a God-inspired love. Owen has brought to Christ Foundry both the spiritual leadership but also the vision and the dream that has put in place a very solid plan of development and has surrounded himself with uh, excellent advisors. Our family supports Christ Foundry because it's a way to show God's love. We all have so many opportunities to decide where we want to give some financial support. This is one that Betsy and I have wholeheartedly decided is more than worthy. You look over there and I think everything that uh, you would want to check off the list is there. Does it make the world a more gracious place? Absolutely. 
Is there a need? Yes. Is there great leadership there at all levels? Absolutely yes. Do you see results? Absolutely you see results. It's a wonderful opportunity to grab a handle and dive in and participate. Currently, we're touching hundreds and hundreds of lives. Right now, our church rents a little two-bedroom apartment building. We also rent an unused storage room above the boiler room. It's very hidden. You really have to know where we are to find us. From the beginning, though, Christ Foundry needed its own place, its own place of belonging, its place from which to do uh, ministry, a place that people would be able to identify as their very own. Christ Foundry needs its own place to have church because then if we have our own place then we get to have more activities and have more fun. There's not a visible and permanent center of worship in this community. So Owen got excited and started shopping for property and found this property at the corner of uh, Park Lane and Webb Chapel. And I've seen the uh, the pictures and the renderings of the new property and the new building. And uh, in addition to being right in the midst of the neighborhood, I think the members of that community will be very proud and feel like that's home for them. Persons will pass under the bell tower into the main entry area. And in this main entry area, we'll have an altar where people that are just coming by need a place to pray, but also we'll have a place that's secure for our children and our children's programming behind there. We'll have our offices and places for counseling, vocational education, English as a second language, after school programs for children, a safe place where they can go. Our main worship area is going to be designed to both be a, a beautiful place of worship as well as a place where we can play dodgeball. A multi-purpose facility that can be used not just on Sundays but Monday through Saturday. We will have frontage on Webb Chapel, the main thoroughfare through our community. We have a bus station on the lot. We're within an eyesight of two elementary schools. One of our goals in our construction is to be able to build debt free so that we don't have to service a debt with our income, that all our income after the building can then go directly to providing the services. They have expanded beyond their resources. Uh, for them to grow more, for them to become more effective, to have this space is absolutely essential. Please consider supporting this vision of faith and hope.